What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Traven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova you know, Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through uh, a little bit of a legendary battle. Not so legendary. We happened to find uh, Terrakian inside the rock tunnel, and we came back to actually try and capture it. We were lucky. We were very, very lucky. Gotta use the speed button a little bit, but you know what? It is what it is. We caught another legendary Pokemon, and now it is time for us to move along right here. We're in Lavender Town, and well, there really isn't anything we can do right here. You guys already know the, the, the story about this place, that yeah, the ghosts and all that stuff. We are not going there. We are going to be going straight to Saladon City, and well, let's go right ahead and start switching out Pokemon right here, because we need to battle. We need to start making Pokemon stronger, like Super Squirrel right here. Now, again, I'm not too set on my Pokemon team just yet. I mean, at this point, we're going into the fourth gym, and, well, should already have, like, a nice established team, but there are so many Pokemon that we kind of want to try out, especially in the Unova region. I would have to say that, you know, the Unova region, when Generation 5 came out, the... Well, I guess the best thing that, that, that you could say about Generation uh, 5 is that, yeah, they tried the whole, ex uh, what was it, Unova exclusive uh, thing, and we had to build a team from the ground up, but with that, they brought in a whole lot of Pokemon that, you know, with a lot of options and all that stuff, if you, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, for instance, Kill a Croc right here, I, w I could either get him, or I can get, um, what was it, Mudslide as a Pokemon because they're both ground types each one of them has a different capability it's so it's so it's really really hard to choose it really is guys and uh, <laughs> it's like a it's like a little bit of a brain teaser right here so let's go right ahead and battle this guy and he's like rambling gambling dude okay alright alrighty so here we go another gambler and well he's gonna be coming out with his pants here right here and well a lot of these Pokemon are starting to get a little stronger so we really need to catch up and get these Pokemon uh, up to level right here. So, one good thing about last uh, the two, two episodes ago is that we got Mudslide powered up just a little bit. Now, this could be a problematic. Not really. And there it goes again. It's probably going to be problematic. And yes, we did not get paralyzed. Now, other Pokemon such as, you know, uh, what was it called again? What did I call Shedder? What is Shedder? Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, yes. Now it's problematic. Oh, gravy. Look at that. And Blood Slide. Super Squirrel grows to level 17. And, well, we're going to be con we're gonna be taking on a Daramaka. So, now we're just going to risk it right here. Now, let's see. What is a Shedder right here? What did I call Shedder? I don't remember. God dang. Or what Pokemon was it called? God dang. Yeah, guys. See, that's the problem with, like, trying to remember Pokemon's names. It's just, it's really hard. But a Pokemon like Shedder is a dark and fighting type Pokemon, but yet I can't use it on this team because I already have a fire and fighting type Pokemon. It has really, really, really gotten difficult just to choose a team. And it's also fun too because there, there's so many more Pokemon out there that you can actually use. Right here, I am actually kind of maybe scouting for a team for a potential Pokemon White to po uh, walk through. A little along in the future, and well, let's see. Here we have another guy. I don't want to battle him just yet. Uh, let's see. You know what? We're just gonna keep Super Squirrel right here just uh, to power him up. And this guy's telling me we need strategy to win this whole thing right here. All right, bring it on. See what you got right here. Your super nerd wants the battle. Coming out with a Trubish, poison type Pokemon right here. Good gravy. Okay, so. So far, Super Squirrel's not that strong. It's, uh, I think the only reason why I got it on my team is mainly because of the, the whole flying and electric type capability. Never tried it. I always thought that it was just an annoying Pokemon to battle, but I never really used it in as a Pokemon in itself. And, well, now I just gotta switch it out right here. Now, other Pokemon that I probably use as a, what was it? As a, a potential electric type Pokemon. Uh, Zip Striker, that's one Pokemon. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is that? Uh, oh, you know what? Let's go right here. What's that Pokemon called? Not Garbodor. Holy crud, look at this Pokemon. It's a big old mutated piece of trash. And, well, Garbodor defeated. Okay. 
And say hello to level 35 right there for Killer Croc. And well, this guy's coming out with a Dino, so let's see. Wait, that's a Dragon type Pokemon, right? Holy crap. Okay, so let's go straight to Oinkinator right here. This guy has a Dino, or a Dino, or I don't know how to pronounce this Pokemon, but this is kind of a, a big development. I kind of want to use that Pokemon too. Look at that. Okay, now. You know, it's, it's, it's a very difficult Pokemon to raise, especially when you want to get it to its final level. It actually evolves in, like, the level 60s or something. But like I was saying, uh, let's see, there are different types of Pokemon right here that, you know, you can actually use. And, well, it looks like I don't have an antidote. Oh, actually, there it is. Yes, there we go. Super Squirrel is now healed. Now, it's got me all... It's got me all curious and all that stuff. So let's go all... Oh, wait, here we go. All the way right here, we got Durant and Dino, Dino, and you don't say this Pokemon you can actually capture at Victory Road or at the uh, what was it? The I'm assuming that's the Safari Zone. I can't wait to do that. What about Durant? Same place. Okay, so a very rare Pokemon. Let's see. What's the Pokemon like options right here for Electric type Pokemon? Let's see. Pokemon that I normally go for. Blitzel. Uh, to Substrika. Uh, let's see, let's see, what else? Basculin, no, I don't like that Pokemon. Uh, Scraggy, that's what, uh, <laughs> that's what Shedder's called. Uh, let's see, another Pokemon that you can actually use. Actually, I kind of want to see this. Zerua. Holy crud. Okay, so you mean to tell me we can actually find this guy a little bit close to home? Uh, let's see, Ducklet. Molga is not for me. It wasn't. Ne it was never an, an option. Joltik. This is a Pokemon I caught off screen uh, before the uh, power plant. It's at level 17. I think I might use him uh, later on. Tynamo is another Pokemon that I definitely want to use, but this Pokemon is like it's very difficult to train up. And then, uh, well, yeah, those are the Pokemon that I, I, I normally go to, especially in Pokemon uh, Black and White. But, like I said right here, it's just giving me the option to just scout on a team that I kind of want to use uh, later on in Pokemon Black and White 2, which, well, we'll see what happens. So here we have a last one in the battle with Lillipup. And, well, still going with our good old buddy Super Squirrel right here. Super Squirrel do, does his thing, and, well, there's a bite attack right there. And that right there is going to be forcing us to go straight to Oinkinator. Now, let's see, here we go with a bite attack. Alrighty, not so effective, let's go with a low kick. Now, I did mention in the last few episodes that if I find an Oshawa, which I kind of have an idea where to find it at, if I do get an Oshawa, that I will remake the original Pokemon Black uh, walkthrough team in this game right here, I just don't know when. Now, if you guys are wondering how can that happen when there's not a lot of trainers here, we're gonna try the Missing No Cheat, guys. It's no secret. I mean, I'm going to try and capture every single Pokemon in this. Uh, I'm going to try and... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm... Like, it looks like to me in this game that we are going to be able to finish out the Pokedex. One way or another, we're going to finish it out. And I kind of want to actually get every single one of them by the end of this whole walk right here. So, hopefully, just hopefully, by the end of this whole thing, we will be able to get to it. And, well, here we got Clink looking at us. Not... Not working, and here we go, Mudshot. Mudshot's a quadruple damage onto Clink right here, since it is both Steel and Electric type. And, well, look at that, okay. Now, Clink is another option right there that I could use. I think you can actually find that Pokemon at the Power Plant. And, yes, okay, so she's talking about her cat being cute and all that stuff. I'm assuming it's, uh, what was it, Lipard, uh, Perloin, Minchino. That's not a cat. That's a fine squirrel, I think. I don't even know. A flying hamster. I don't know, guys. I'm just, you know, assuming and all that stuff. And, well, here we go. We're going to take a sing attack. Gravy. Okay. Okay, speed button right there. Just because I kind of don't want to mess with this. And, Gravy. Okay, come on. Come on. Seriously? Okay, low kick. There we go. How did we miss the first one? I don't know. And here comes a swift attack. I wonder if Sleep Talk is in this right here. I don't know. And there we go. Kick, low kick, does its thing. 
And Oinkinator getting some experience points. So we're just going to continue on right here with Oinkinator. And, well, let's go with a low kick. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay. And, Jesus Christ, and he stopped putting me to sleep. Good gravy. There we go. Yeah, that's why we have the speed button, just to speed up the whole sleeping process, because knowing my ass, it's probably going to be like five turns. And, well, this guy is going to go for another sing. And there we go. Halfway point, and here comes a double slap. That's one, two, three. Okay, it's going to be five. God damn you, I hate you. You see see what I mean, guys? My luck is just so horrible in this game. Let's go with a low kick. And there we go, Mancino defeated. And, well, Oinkinator needs to get healed now. And good thing for us that we bought ourselves some super potions while we're off screen. So let's go straight for a super potion right here for Super Squirrel. And, well, let's go straight for the Oinkinator right here. Again, guys, I'm trying to figure out what's a good team for Pokemon uh, Black and White, too. I mean, we still have that walker to go through, and some of you guys have been requesting it, so I'm not denying you all the way, guys. It's just now my schedule is picked up badly, and I have to be a little bit more, you know, mindful of my schedule with this right here. I'm not going to take anything away from uh, YouTubing, it's just I'm pretty much going to be doing. Uh, what was it? A, a grip load of episodes at a time just to, well, just to finish up right here. And, well, look at that. p Dove gets paralyzed. All right. Super Squirrel is working with something right here. And look at it. Okay. All righty. There we go. Level 18. Super Squirrel doing his thing. And, well, here comes a Patrat. Let's go ahead and change it up with somebody. Uh, screw it. Let's go with Killer Croc. Petrat's always a yeah, it's always a dickhead to me. So here we go. Let's go straight for a crunch attack, and that is that right there. Okay, and well, coming out with a purloin. We're gonna continue on right here. Kill a croc using the bite attack. Not so effective, but it's still powerful enough to beat the purloin. There we go. And well, let's see. He's coming out with a Minchino. I got a bone to pick with you. Let's go with Oinkinator right here. Alrighty, let's go Minchino, take this low kick for the win, and yes, super effective, okay, as it should be, and here he comes out with a blitz, so let's continue on right here with Oinkinator, and let's go with a seismic toss, good thing that, eff that effects do not uh, exist right here in generation 1, but here comes a thundershock, and, well, let's finish this guy off with another seismic toss. There we go. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Alright. And, well, there goes another last. And, well, look what I did. Yes, I defeated you. And, well, I kind of want to know what Pokemon you can actually find right here. Probably do that off screen. And, yeah, we will be finding some Pokemon right here. I actually thought that we were going to see, like, some bikers right here. And, well, let's see. I don't know why I did that for. Probably just to run away from the, the, the trainers right here. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. Alright, let's roll the dice. Uh-huh, okay, okay. So what do we have here? We got ourselves Gambler, and he's coming out with a time pull now. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about this. Or can we? Yes, we can. Okay, so time pull is still not a ground-type Pokemon. And just like that, we're going to be affected with a super, uh, supersonic. And, well, here we go. Time pull is getting, uh, yeah, it, time pull is not, yeah, it's not going down real quickly. So, come on, super squirrel, ah, damn you. There we go. Super squirrel just doing something. Going with another time pull. Let's go, con let's go ahead and continue this whole onslaught right here. There we go, and there we go. Now, again, super uh, the super button, or the speed button right here, is just for the whole confusion sleep kind of thing, because I, I can't take that. Now, this guy's coming out with a Paplitoad. We gotta go straight to Maractus now. And look at that. It is an ugly sprite for an ugly Pokemon. No offense. And now, we can actually go straight for an Absorb attack right here, taking quadruple damage. And look at that. Okay. 
almost halfway there. Look at that. And there is a mud shot, not effective. And well, let's go ahead and take some more HP. Yes. Okay. So Maractus is starting to be a good Pokemon on my team. I don't know. Should I probably keep it on my team? I do not know. Ladylex not with me today. And well, we got one more trainer right here. You know what? We're going to save him until later on because I kind of want to see something else. Now, this lady's going to tell us about the department store. We already know about that place. That we will cover in the next episode. I'm only assuming it stays the same, but what I'm very interested in is what they changed up in the in Celadon City, kind of like, uh, you know, the gym, the type of Pokemon that they actually have uh, to offer at the game corner. Hell, even the quote-unquote Eevee that, you know, is left for us up in the in the tower, or not the tower, but yeah, the, the building, the building right next to the department store. Now, let's see what this guy has. I heard a stormy Pokemon appear near Celadon City. Now, there's two! If you guys don't remember, yes, we are going to find a lot of legendary Pokemon. Cannot wait for that one. And, well, here we are in Celadon City. We made it nice and, uh, yeah, we, we, we made it nice and easy right here. And, well, that is pretty much it. So, in the next episode, we're going to take care of uh, everything that goes on in Celadon City. And, yeah, we're going to try to figure out how to, you know, how... Like, just like how to get get around this, see what kind, of, what kind of Pokemon we can find off screen. I'm probably going to go back into the grass, uh, the patches of grass to see if we can find some new Pokemon. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.